Are you running into more and more annoying salespeople on LinkedIn? You'd enjoy LinkedIn a whole lot more if these people would just go away. Before you ignore them or disconnect from them, watch this video. There is a way to skillfully handle salespeople and use them as leverage to gain exposure and grow your business. It starts right now. Hey, I'm Brooke Miles, and welcome back to another video where I teach you how to outshine your competitors on social media. If you're like most entrepreneurs, you can't stand it when someone tries to connect with you on LinkedIn just to try to sell to you. And you're like, dude, I'm trying to network here. Get out of my way. But here's your chance to squeeze these lemons into a pitcher of delicious, thirst-quenching lemonade. First, let me explain why this lemonade exists. And second, how to squeeze the lemons. First, the lemonade. Let's suppose you don't accept connection requests from salespeople, or you'll accept the connection request, but disconnect from them as soon as they start selling to you. Then your network of first degree connections is pretty small and looks something like this. That means your network of second degree connections looks like this, and your third degree connections look like this. Now remember that the size of your network affects how much you show up in searches to potential customers and referral sources who are looking for people who do what you do. So if you have a small network, there's a whole lot of white space around these circles and you're staying invisible to lots of people who should know who you are, but won't. Now let's suppose the opposite. You connect with salespeople and stay connected with them. Now salespeople in general have a lot of LinkedIn connections. I looked at the last five salespeople who connected with me and they had on average 4,500 connections each. So now keeping these people in your network, your network of first degree connections looks like this, second degree looks like this, and third degree looks like this, it's off the charts. These salespeople, whether they mean to or not, can help you show up in lots more searches and get you on the radar of the people you really do wanna meet. Hey, if you're liking this video so far and wanna see more of my content, be sure to subscribe and click the notifications bell because we all want the lemonade. Thanks. Okay, let's assume you acknowledge the lemonade. The lemonade exists. So how do you squeeze the lemons? Here's my system for squeezing lemons. First, accept the connection request. Second, when they send you their sales pitch, you can send them a note like this, and this is the note that I send. Dear, name a person trying to sell to you. Thank you for connecting with me. I'm happy to stay connected as long as I don't receive solicitations. Thank you for your understanding. The key is to be kind, and here's why. The annoying salesperson might not know they're being annoying. They may think that this is what they're supposed to do on LinkedIn because no one ever told them otherwise. And when you answer firmly but respectfully, you're treating people as they deserve to be treated. You're also protecting your brand because you're being professional. You never know when one of these people could become a customer or a referral source for you. And I once had a soliciting salesperson become a client and a really good one. Now, I would love to hear from you in the comments section what you're thinking about this so far and how you respond to salespeople. Don't be shy, talk to me, I listen. I will say that about 95% of the time after I send my note, I never hear back from the person, but they stay connected. About 1% of the time, I get a thank you note back from the person thanking me for my time and we stay connected and that's it. The remaining 4% of the time usually ends up in some type of disconnection. Either the salesperson disconnects with me because they didn't get what they want, or I end up disconnecting with them at some point because they keep on soliciting me. But think about this, 95% of the time, you get the lemonade of a much larger network, which includes salespeople who have a much more positive impression of you than they have of people who ignore them or send them nasty grants. It pays to pay attention to people and be kind. And if you enjoy this content and wanna see more, be sure to subscribe by clicking in the top left corner or watching more videos on the right. Thanks and see you in the next video.